Hey everyone and welcome to the Green Clicks this week. I'm sure you're watching this over on our YouTube, which is BP Fun, but you can also catch us over on the live stream, which is the BP RPG. We stream every Monday and possibly Tuesdays coming up. Um, right now it's we've got the Green Cloaks streaming and we've got Stars Without Numbers. So please catch those and let's get straight into it. Zeus, would you like to intro your character? I, I would love to. Toe, too. Um, <laughs> I play uh, J- Joe. Uh, I play Joe Swanson. He's the uh, gunslinger of, of the group. He's in the Joe, uh, his, uh, Joe Legman. Joe Legman. <laughs> he's got a he's got a new name. <laughs> Swanson was my mother's it. maiden's name. <laughs> no, but I play Joe. He's uh he's the gunslinger in a maidens. wheelchair, and he also. I might die this episode. We don't know. We'll have to see what happens with this necklace situation. I'm very scared. Um, I was peer pressured into putting this on, but yes. It's true. Gravy, welcome to the party today. Who are you playing? Uh, I am Gideon. I am the de facto medic, <laughs> uh, bard, <laughs> um, womanizer, man, manonizer, uh, and just a general lover of all things terrible for you. <laughs> and Mr. Nova, who are you playing today? Welcome to the party. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm playing Otradash, the half-orc wizard with his trusty sidekick, Unseen Servant, as always. And um, a little bit about Otradash. He is a magic fiend. Anything that involves magic, he is all about it. And um, yeah, he magic. That's magic. All I <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tungar, welcome to the party today. And yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, yeah, I play it. Tungar. Hey, I play <laughs> Tungar, and uh, he's a big, fat, juicy man titan that uh, holds a hammer in. <laughs> Gotta love those man titans. <laughs> No, uh, Tungar's a early big dude that likes to throw around his new shiny hammer and uh, crack as many inappropriately timed jokes as possible. Uh, Mr. Oddly, welcome to the party today. Who are you playing? Uh, I will be playing Bishop, a warforged cowboy. Um, that is His main goal is to uphold not only the law, but to do acts for the greater good. And uh, I am trying not to go into kill murder mode on my friends. I just thought of this. Is your character like a robot Judge Dredd? Yep. That's awesome. But like he's a also kind of a kindergartner. <laughs> it's not a tumor. Not a tumor. <laughs> Judge not a tumor. Dredd if he was a child. <laughs> it's not a tumor. It's just my legs. Wow. Uh, well, thank you all for being here. I'm JT. I'm the DM slash GM around here. I'm not going to go into any more detail because nobody cares. Uh, what I will say is it's going to be a hard uh, intro because I was very sick and watching that VOD back was rough. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to fix some pieces real quick. Um, so we're going to start at the beginning of y'all's long rest and then we will continue through. Uh, who would like to tell me what we did last time? Uh, who I could, would like to tell me what we did last time? I could, I'll could. i fill you in. So, la- like, last episode <laughs> recap, for those of you that forgot to watch it, go go watch it on our YouTube channel. BP Fun. Anyways, uh, we basically... Uh, Gideon was out cold. Uh, we tried to traverse... I tried to traverse with him on a go-kart, and um, that... Mm-hmm didn't go well and caused Bishop to be knocked unconscious. And so we had two unconscious players had to keep them traveling down the shaft. And, uh, we came across some WWE wrestlers as well as 10 K gold and a bag of holding. I Joe have the bag of holding and we put the 10 K gold in there for safekeeping because it's, it's a lot of stuff to carry. And then Throughout all of this, Gideon is just you know try, trying to play poker with, with my demons. Yeah, with his I'm demons. demons. <laughs> he, he's just chilling in his mind right, over here, 
freaking Tanjiro slaying demons. Anyways, and then uh, we wake up. We were able to wake him up uh, by taking the necklace off of Gideon. And um, that was kind of the end of the long rest. And then stuff happened afterwards. I don't know if we do. Do you want me to do the afterwards as well? No, we're going to start from the beginning of the long rest. Okay. So. Yeah, that way we have a clean slate to... Uh... Might as well just redo the whole yeah. episode. Huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, from or after the 10K. <laughs> okay, so we all woke up. So he's still... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, you Nova, have the Nova and Tungar stripped uh, Gideon naked. I had to put some clothes yeah. on. Yeah, I'm clothes. sorry. We are after that long rest. I apologize. Okay. this That's already happened. So that's already happened. Uh, I put a thong on him from whatever was left of his clothes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he has Fuck something yeah, to did. cover himself. And uh, yeah, so that, that's where we left off at the long rest moment. Perfect. And I do believe the decision was to go down these train tracks. Is yeah. it so what everybody wants to do? Yeah. <laughs> Gideon was okay. still unconscious at this point. He doesn't wake up till like halfway through from when you said, unless that's also retconned. We'll start halfway through. Okay. We're like a halfway through the day. Cool. Um, so yeah, you've walked for about half a day. You're just in the middle of nowhere underground. Mm-hmm. What would you like to do? Just going to continue forward? Gideon's still unconscious, correct? No, he's awake. He's awake. Okay. And I'm guessing the whole, oh, I'm naked spiel has already uh, happened. That's still canon. Yes. Okay. Yes, still can. Um, so I guess I'm just going to, I'm just going to left, I'm just do what I left off doing is just put the necklace on. That's kind of where that whole conversation led, mm-hmm. led into. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah. Before you put that on. I'm, I'm like right here. Yeah. I slept like shit with that on. I, <laughs> are you going to, are you going to be sleeping with that on or are you? Look, man, Joe doesn't get much sleep. I mean, let's be honest. These bags are here for, for my good looks. I mean, <laughs> it's not an aesthetic I mean... that I added on. Hey, yeah, go for it then. Thanks, bud. And then I just put it back, put it on. Give me a con save. Okay. Constitution. Okay. That, sweet. That was way better than the last. Wait, why would you say sweet? No reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 cool, cool. All right. So Should Joe I... dies. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, are we continuing down this long yes, shaft? Yes, we're continuing down the shaft. Pause. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Pause. On pause. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Press so how long would y'all... Subtitles, please? <laughs> how long would y'all like to uh, go down the shaft, the very long shaft? I mean, as long as it takes. Yeah, I would say until we get to a uh, get to an exit port. Yeah, a conclusion. Yeah. Some might say. <laughs> Climactic exit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> okay, so y'all walk, which you would assume is another day. Uh, like half day, okay. you're still on the train tracks. Um, and everyone's now exhausted. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna stop, including unseen servant, <laughs> including unseen servant. Hey guys, no. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we, we we sit out and catch a couple of Z's. Uh, I didn't know robots could sweat like that, Bishop, uh, unless that's someone else's sweat or condensation from the roof. I don't know how. You guys were Bishop's core is overheating. Ah, that's how it works. Yeah, we should totally rest uh, cuz that doesn't that sounds like explosive and uh, I don't I don't want to I don't want to die. So uh what you guys think? We can sit down, take it. Well, I'm already sitting, but you guys sit down, take a rest and uh you know just catch a couple of Z's for a bit. Sit Wait, down. Can we just take a long rest? Yeah, but it's been a day. We've walked for an entire day. Yeah, you've just been uh, walking all day. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um Gideon, uh, Gideon takes out his uh, his his instrument and starts starts plucking something. Um, kind of while we walk, just as a little bit of little bit of entertainment, a little bit of flavor. Oh, finally, um, need some flavor. Yeah, <laughs> it's about time the bard actually played a little music. Oh, no, it's been like twenty episodes. <laughs> um, oh God, what is the name of that song? 
Darude Sandstorm? I, I, <laughs> no, not that, <laughs> not that song. Call Me Maybe? <laughs> not that one either. Hold on, I'm think, pulling it up right now. I think you're thinking of Call Me Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's Darude Sandstorm. It was his unofficial official thing. Baby. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. You convinced so, him. Um, <laughs> It's Beyond the Sea. Do you guys know that song? Oh, yeah, like Bobby Frank Sinatra. or Yeah, it's like a little Beyonce slingy, song. slingy little tune. Hex, yeah, love that song. Bah, bah. Yeah, it's just, we're just, we're just jamming. Just be a little, little saucy. Got some yeah. soul in there. Copyright. <laughs> yeah, no, we can't play it. It's copyright. Everyone think about it in your head. Oh, I already am. I'm playing it. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, we're going to pause in silence so everyone can listen to the full song in their head. So everyone be quiet for three minutes. Three and a half minutes. There we go. All right, Zeus, you ruined it. All right. Gosh, dang it. That's why we can't have nice things. That's what my parents keep telling me. <laughs> All right. So, Zeus, on this long rest, I'm going to need you to make another con save. Oh. Ooh. So That's... as you as you shut your eyes, you open oh. them immediately, and you are in a very white, open, endless, sprawling place. Am I still in my wheelchair, or can I walk since it's my own consciousness? It's, that is a great question. So do you, like, look down at your legs? Well, okay, so I just see white, right? It's just empty, white void, correct? Yeah. Um, I don't look at my legs at first. I kind of just, like, I go, like, hello. Is there an echo? Uh, yeah no it's one of those things where it's not like there's walls anywhere near so it just goes on forever there's nothing to send the noise back so i go to like motion my wheelchair but then i look down and notice it's not there and i'm actually walking like my legs work in my man in my mind yep cool so i guess i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm just gonna start walking to see like hello bishop so bishop. you see you see a, what looks like a woman it's not like you're scared that she's here. It's like she's always been here. Do I and get a sense of familiarity? Um, give me a d20. How about we find out? Okay. Let's find some emotions out. Let's just jump into it. Let's just dive on it. <clears throat> no, you have no, no familiarity. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Man. Lady, she person? looks up. She goes, "Yes." Uh, you might tell me uh, where we're at. Oh, what uh, what's happening here? Or where oh. my where my pals go? I would be happy to. I'm actually here to make a deal with you. <laughs> what kind of deal are we talking about? Well, you actually have taken a necklace that belongs to Bishop, and I will reward you greatly if you can give it back to him. Why? Why would I give this necklace back to Bishop? That that necklace was well, the cause of his insanity. It's because you're our good friends, and oh yeah, he needs it, or else bad things will happen to him. Well, what kind of bad things are we talking about? Some bad stuff tried to happen to us when we had that necklace on. Well, he could just stop working. Like when he had the necklace is the necklace is helping him repair himself, not destroy him. I it's am, caused some bad effects, but minor I, issues. I have seen evidence to the contrary. I haven't seen any proof of this this good deed that. Uh, uh oh. Uh. uh <laughs> bro, my internet had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll pick up. There we go. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen any evidence to the uh, to the point that you. I mean, if if you could show me some proof, you know. I would I would love to make this deal, but I haven't seen any evidence. I don't I don't know how I could help you. I mean, you're here to help, this. right? I mean, how I mean, help? he was able to use special mechanics that he's never been able to use before. So see, what repairing. mechanics are you talking about? He used exactly he, the same stuff he usually does, except for the leg when clamps. he wanted to. Exactly the leg clamps. Uh, That's part of his turret mode. Yeah, I don't really like the the, the turret mode. Personally, that uh, seemed very uh, antagonistic to his best buddy, you know me, and uh, I'm not really, uh, not really keen. On... Oh, what else you got? I mean, let's, let's 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 talk this out. What else you got? So are you saying we can't reach this together? I, mean, I I would love to reach a uh, a conclusion that could satisfy both of us, but uh, 
Yeah, you haven't really shown your cards on the table. Oh. Okay. I didn't get very far with the last one either. The last one? What do you mean? And she, like, gestures to, like, a table that's just there now. It always looked like it's been there. It's got a hourglass. Okay. And she flips it over and she goes, You have about seven days until you die. I hope you change your mind before then. I'm sorry, what? You went, oh, I'm sorry, you want to run that by me again? Oh, you, you're going to die in seven days and there's nothing you can do about it. And why is that? Because I've trapped you. Where? So either you give the necklace back. Wait, trap me where? Where? where, where? You don't even tell me where we are. Oh, this is your head. It's pretty your white head. for a head. Well, I've done some redecorating. You had a whole bunch of unneeded thoughts. You have a lot of unneeded lack of color. Um, I mean, thoughts are great. I thought it. I thought it fit. White's not very depressing. That's a really racist. This is a pretty morbid area. Considering it probably is where you die. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's such a happy thing. But you know, you really haven't really given me anything to work with this deal here. It seems more of a one-sided affair. And she points her finger at you and she goes, "Exactly. You get it now." I get what now? It's a one-sided deal. I was just trying to be nice before, but obviously we can't that, do this. That was way. you being nice. That was terrible. It was. You got to work on that. It's just, I do better with, you know, killing people from lack of sleep. And how is that better? I'm not, how are you getting deals done? I don't see how your process is successful. Well, you'll get to the very edge of dying. You'll cave. You'll give the necklace back. And then you'll be fine. And if I don't? You die. And we try it again. <laughs> how? I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, somebody else will pick the necklace up. Doesn't mean they're going to put it on. If they see me die because I put the necklace on, I'm pretty sure they're not going to put the necklace on. Oh, they won't know you're dead. I'll just reanimate your body for a while. Then I'm not dead. Then you're lying. No, you'll be dead. Your body will be more like a husk. So I'm not dead. I'm not going to get into a theology lesson with you. Wait, when did religion get into this? Your soul will leave this coil. Coil? That's poop. She goes, I'll leave you for a few days to contemplate. What am I contemplating again? I'm sorry. I got so lost in this conversation. Your death. Hey, what's to contemplate there? She goes, nothing. So, then what am I doing? She doesn't respond. Can I, like... Since it's my own consciousness, can I create a gun in my hand? You sure could if you had control over this place. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I was gonna she, wiped, she wiped all of these. She literally wiped an area out of your mind just for this. I hope it was the area with Bonnie. Anyways. <laughs> um, Freaking Bonnie. Um, I guess I, uh, can I... Can I conjure like drinks, like beverages, some food? Nope. No, I can't conjure Jack. Nope. It's a terrible lucid dream. Uh, can I sit down? Am I able to sit down? Yeah. Just come to the white floor. There's no chair? Nope. So who puts a table there without a chair? Exactly. The more you think about this, like, table and chair and person, they make less and less sense the more you think about them. This lady sucks. Um, okay. Can I? Does she have a chair? Is she sitting in the chair? No, she's just standing there. What the frick? What just at the table? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna punch her. Okay. So oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna her. punch her. Oh I'm gonna like push her. I'm gonna push okay. her. So you start walking towards her. I'm not pushing. Um, after an unknown amount of time, you have not made any distance. It's like you haven't even moved. I look underneath to see if I was on a treadmill. No, you're walking the entire time. Huh. The concept of a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's essentially just a wheelchair, but just doesn't move. It's a wheelchair for people who can walk. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. 
That's the space that she cleared out. The treadmill idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. Uh, yeah, it's just like an infinitely big void. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit sit on the floor, crisscross applesauce, and like meditate. Okay. I've never meditated before in my life. I've seen people do it, and I'm gonna try it. So as we zoom out on Joe meditating, everyone else wakes up from their long rest, and Joe is still asleep in his chair. Uh oh. I'm a snore. Okay. Joe's a snore. Gideon's so jamming. He is. He is. His whole life has been a song since uh, taking that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. On the north of what would you like to do? Um, At assuming they. Can... Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say, at least we can push him in his chair around. Yeah, to carry him. This is true. Well, you could also use me to carry other items. Um, I think of him like a horse you, um, without you any horse. Him a dolly. <laughs> did gravy? Did gravy ever explain to us? Sorry, Gideon ever explained to us what he saw in there? He didn't. No, he, he doesn't remember. I don't remember it. Oh, that's right. No, I'm a dolly okay. with like a flesh cushion. So all I know is that when the wheelchair might be more useful, <laughs> probably. So basically, all we know is that when you have the necklace, you don't wake up, or and do you, you don't up? feel well rested afterwards. Hungover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gideon's actually like super, super sleep deprived. Yeah, that was my first actual real long rest. Yeah, doesn't he have two levels of exhaustion? He has two now. He had three before. Oh. Ooh, Isn't God. it five to kill you? Uh, Nine. <clears throat> I think Nine, it's seven. Right? Seven? Uh, that would make sense. The whole week. Yeah. Down All right. What do you want to do? The man who's not oh, around. I, I suppose we'll keep walking down the, uh, the old shaft. The big old shaft. I will push the lane. Wait. Name. That is Tungar. my last name. Um, <laughs> Tungar. Is, is that, are we going to wake up Joe? Wait, did you steal it like in the night and we didn't see? Steal what? The necklace. Oh, no. no he... It was the bet. Like, everyone was like, or not bet, but it was like the whole, hey, try it on, try it on. I was like, okay. Everybody gets to try it. <laughs> yeah, and I put the necklace on and I'm still asleep. Is anyone going to oh, wake yeah. him up? Yeah, let's try to wake him up. They non-responsive. I probably slap it louder, actually, because of the slap. <laughs> um, Gideon's gonna slap him once just for fun. <laughs> Can just, you just get a good wind up. <laughs> yeah, just lay one on him for once. It's like hitting a bag of like mulch or something at Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> Very satisfying. You gotta, you gotta... I don't like that I'm satisfying the slap. <laughs> a lot of practice. That's well, all. he is he is not waking up. Oh, I saw I saw the practice. Of, is kind this... of like you, Gideon. This is exactly what it was. This happening. is wait. This happened to me too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, no wonder I feel like shit. Yeah, I had the kid. How long was I? A bit. How long was I out? Oh, look at the hiccups. How long was I out? Hey Siri, how long was he out? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bishop turns days, at least. Um, like, um, yeah, a couple days. A couple days? It's like a day and a half. You guys are just going to let me... You're asleep. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> um, I mean, we had the heartbeat. We just figured it was a drug thing. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, no I'm glad you think that I can control myself that well. Um, <laughs> upon hearing that... Gideon is going to, um, I think I'm going to cast a uh, healing word on myself because I'm not, I'm not sure if it, if it, if like, you know, I got brain damage, if I got hit in the head, like what the effects of that, <laughs> that necklace were on me. That's fair. But like hearing that I've, <laughs> I was asleep for multiple days, like is, is concerning. Okay. Makes you feel a little bit better. 
makes you feel safe. Doesn't actually do anything, but it probably like rejuvenates you a little bit. Start singing louder. <laughs> the songs I'm are only on getting top of the world. <laughs> the songs are only getting more jovial. Next up is a uh, Southern Nights. Uh, Southern Nights. Da, 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 da. Beautiful. Keep playing. Something yeah. about a Toto in Africa. That's the song Joe met Bonnie to in Family Guy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah, you're just walking? Walking uh, simulator? So. Yeah, I would say yeah. so. Okay. So you guys so slap me and just let me there? Wow. Yeah, we're just well, gonna okay, leave. Okay, hold on. Do I deduce that it's like the necklace, obviously, that he's that he's put on that? I can't tell head. you what you do and do not deduce. Can I deduce that? Can I can I can see I that? deduce? Can I roll sure. to see that? You don't you don't have to. I I trust you. if you think Tungar would actually, then sure, he can. He's a little observant. I'll give him that credit. Yeah, maybe you can put two and two together. It's the necklace. Uh I guess I won't say anything out loud since uh wait no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think Tungar actually would say out loud, I think it's the necklace, you guys. I think it's the necklace that's uh making all this stuff, yeah. You wanna um, test it? Should we just should we just uh throw it in the in the well? No, we we are not in the big no, we can room anymore. Sell it. We can yeah. sell it. What is, why would we just get rid of magic when we can profit from it? That's exactly. true. That's true. Let's uh, let's sail it. Let's sail it. Yeah. Let's uh, keep pushing. Let's go out of here, and we'll find yeah. the nearest town Joe with the it forest. Too. You know, it, this would be yeah. <laughs> this would be really good for like an assassin. If he could like put it on to somebody, and then they just the next time they fall asleep, they won't wake up. No one would know, except for us. I would, you know, now that I talk about it, I feel kind of guilty. Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I feel like this necklace might have some effects we don't know about yet, so we should probably be careful. Oh, well, no, I had it on for a couple of days. So I feel you are tired, built, but fine. You are built different. You know? <laughs> Bishop, Bishop did not sleep when the Bishop wore it. Bishop, you don't have to sleep at all. You just do it for fun, remember? Maybe Bishop can keep the necklace. Bishop, I don't want you anywhere near that necklace after you hit me. Yeah. That wasn't very nice. Bishop apologizes. That was not the greater good Bishop. This is cool. <laughs> Appreciate that you apologize, though. So. Shows exactly Absolutely. what kind of person you are. Apology accepted. Anyways, do 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 do. <laughs> Gideon slaps <laughs> Joe again. <laughs> <After apologizing. laughs> For good measure. <laughs> Yeah, just to make sure. <laughs> Slapping me is a good luck charm now. <laughs> so, what's the point with the necklace? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> we're leaving it on him right now, but we're going to try to get <laughs> out, out this chef. Yeah. That's just, that was just flavor text. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we spend another half day walking. Um, you are just walking down this, like, single track all the way down. Um... You see in the distance what looks to be a little sign and then a little bell on top of the, like, it's like one of those wood signs. Oh, spirited away. I uh, go up and read the sign. It just says, Mr. Squeak's Shop. <gasps> Mr. Squeak's Shop. Hmm. Squeak, 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 squeak. Considering me, this uh... the cave was full of enemies, I assume this might be an enemy shop. Gideon is still might... singing loudly. We might want... Okay. Bang. Ba -da -bow. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I look around I look around to see if there's a storefront anywhere, I suppose. Mm -mm. Just a bell. Hmm. A bell? Can nope. I ring it? Uh... Yeah, I was say, if... if... No, if it isn't, Bishop will. Yeah, if you want to ring it, you can. Okay. I walk up and I ring the bell. Okay. So you go, ding! And a portal opens up. 
toss Joe in there? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Bishop will walk through the portal with his uh, fist up, I guess, because he doesn't have his knife yet. Oh, Bishop, 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 Bishop. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You do have Bishop that. the knife was given back to you, by the way. Oh, was it? Yeah. So, I yeah. That to you. I so I Bishop will. will draw the knife and then start walking. Bishop, 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 Bishop. Hold so on. I will explain what happens to Bishop after everybody else decides what they're going to do, if they're going to go in or stay out. Um, hey. I'll go in since I rung it. It is. I'm asleep. Oh. Uh, I'm kind of handicapped pushing this <laughs> handicap around, so... Um, I think Tungar's interest would be piqued and he would go in. Me Do first, you leave obviously. Joe out? Huh? Do you leave Joe out? Absolutely not. Uh, he's <laughs> pushing me first in there. Yeah. <laughs> he probably like, like is... leaned the chair up the chair up a bit to give him more traction <laughs> and just shoves me in there. Like yeah, a wheelbarrow. I push, I push him in first, but <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Gideon is just in shock that everyone just walked in with no time. Hey guys, hold on! All. As everyone just walks in, <laughs> it's all wet. So he's gonna take his uh, his loot and um, like hold it by like the neck and stick the body of it in first, and then pull it out and see um, if it's like you know. Yeah, it's it burnt in acid. No, <laughs> no, nothing <laughs> happened. Um. Then Gideon kind of does one of these where he like, <laughs> oh shit, I just stepped on my headphone mark. He like, shit. He shits? He like, oh. yeah, he like leans back and takes one foot in and just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a cartoon character would. <laughs> Straight so as you place. go in, half your body gets cut in half as the portal closes. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> so much death. Uh, no. So, Bishop, you're the first one to see all of this. So you're the one who sees this. We The camera zooms out on Bishop. It's a giant meadow. Blue skies and a huge, huge oak tree. I mean, it's like ten times the size of a normal oak tree. And under the oak tree, there's like two wooden tables under the oak tree <laughs> with a small <laughs> squirrel sitting behind like a little stool. And he is very excited to see you. He like waves his little paw up at you. There's a bunch of items on like the tables. Bishop will freeze in, uh, in confusion. So as you freeze... Uh, Alter Dash runs into your back as he comes through the portal. Bump. <laughs> oh god. Does he go back into the portal as he bounces off of his back? <laughs> <laughs> bounces his back out. <laughs> Barney start to get mixed into the portal. <laughs> what did you stop, Bishop? There is a large creature over there. Small like the squirrel. Put with his uh, knife. <laughs> right there. Might you? <laughs> oh, I mean, we should probably say hi. It's a store. So, Office Ultra Dash, thing. you ram Joe's wheelchair into the back of Ultra Dash. Or, Tungar, you ram Joe into the back of Ultra Dash. <laughs> Perfect. My leg! <laughs> <laughs> My leg? My life. Uh, I guess we go up to the tree. Can <laughs> I can I observe anything about the tree? It's just like a very big oak tree. It's the world tree. And well, everything else nice. around just looks like a plain meadow as far as the eye can see. Well, just very green. <laughs> well, that tree. was nice. I'm going back through the portal. So as you start to go through the portal, you get hit in the face by a loot. <laughs> A lute, like a like a, a guitar. Yeah. Um, hey, who threw that pebble at me? Hey. And then, like a cartoon character, <laughs> Gravy comes through the portal and like straight into I guess your chest because you're like way bigger than him. Oh, oh my god! Do we kiss on accident? 
<laughs> he kisses I your I chest. Motorboat. I motorboat him <laughs> on accident. <laughs> And then Sorry, he gets it a second it's time. It's a reflex. <laughs> it's a reflex. Oh, okay. I, d- I uh, don't. I don't pull back. <laughs> what's uh, what's going on in, in here? <laughs> okay, then I pull back after a little bit. Well, uh, it's a big meadow. Um, that's about it. Big tree. Sweet. <laughs> Is there? Any, has anything happened? Is, uh, no. no one's burning or anything? Is anyone hurt? No, we're good. No, oh, wow, this yeah, is incredible good. luck. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just get we out can, of here then. Maybe we can live here instead, actually. <laughs> I mean, we've got 10 kiggle. <laughs> By this tree. Yeah. Hotcha Dash starts could, walking towards the tree. We could start a paradise could, here. We're codenamed kids next <laughs> the, door. The squirrel waves. Hello. Is that is that the unseen servant? It waves back an unseen servant. Super meta. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> He's in my um. I have like the the child carrier thing, because unseen servant was getting a little tired. Empty. It's empty. No. It's just empty. Like, empty. Yeah, it's just empty. Empty. What's it called? He pets something's head quite often. It's okay. Hello there. Oh. Um. Wait. Do I know what kind of? What's it called? creature it is it's a squirrel squirrel hello mr squirrel it just squeaks at you it's just like burp, 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 burp. <gasps> it doesn't speak english <laughs> <laughs> that's english this is common oh true <laughs> what's english oh, we're um, breaking the meadow so much maybe it is speaking english you never know i don't I think Squeakish. i know squeakish squirrel. thing I don't know, squirrel. You can't talk to animals? I mean, I don't think a nature check would allow me to speak to a squirrel. Um, <laughs> we find out, we found out Atchadash is actually a druid this whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has a whole bunch of items on his like table. He's got some different potions. He's got... Uh, what, shotguns? He does have a gun, yeah. Why does a squirrel have a gun? <laughs> Bishop will take a to kind of like start to orbit closer to the shotgun and look at it, or whatever gun it is. He's got some like armors. He's got some. He's got a cape. He's got a pair of nice looking boots. Can I, can I cast detect nice. thoughts on the squirrel? Can I uh, detect yeah. their thoughts if I don't speak their language? Yeah. So you detect thoughts on it, and it's just very quickly going squeak, 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 squeak. Gideon, Gideon, like is like super, super, super locked in on what the squirrel is thinking, and then like kind of just snaps out of it and is like, I don't know what I expected, but that's like that was exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, all right, well. I think I think we could just buy shit, guys. I think... <laughs> and uh, what type of gun is on the table? It's a shotgun. Is there anything special about it? Or I guess kind of roll to see if anything looks particularly different about it? Uh, sure. JT, I have a question. Mm-hmm. If I use Alter Stealth, do I change into a squirrel? Or, like, how does that work? Uh, yeah, you could. Can I use all yourself to change it to a squirrel? You would be. I think ultra self doesn't allow you to change size. You just look like a squirrel, but you're same size. Oh, I'm just size. a giant squirrel. <laughs> squirrel bros. Squeak. Can I, yeah. Can I get a become a giant squirrel? Maybe you'll give me a discount. <laughs> uh, sure. Can you throw it in chat just so I can confirm that? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my perception will be for the quality and craft craftsmanship for the uh, for the shotgun. Mm. So that you would know that uh, this gun was better quality than your old one. It was also one of Colt's weapons. Like, oh. but it looks like one of his more like more manufactured. Hmm. Less experimental. 
Uh, Bishop will pick it up and then look at the scroll. Like it just looks at the squirrel. <laughs> just kind of like lift it off the table and just kind of stare at the squirrel. Yeah, it squeaks at you. It like holds out a hand. Bishop will reach into his pack and give him five gold. The squirrel like looks at the gold and then just like drops it on the table and puts his hand back out. Uh, Nova. Yes. So yeah, you can. But it is your size. Okay, I'll, I'll, that's fine. I'll be a giant squirrel. That is crazy. For up to an hour, um, you can be a giant squirrel. <laughs> does he? Does he like have a different response when I transform into a squirrel? Mm-mm. I mean, he squeaks at you, like he waves and he squeaks at you. Uh, um, I will attempt to squeak back. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> All right, give me a d20. We'll see if this is good or bad. Okay. Sure, I could be cursing this guy off. What the squeak did you say? I imagine this is a squirrel squeak, 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 from, uh, squeak, it's like, it's like from uh, Emperor's New Groove. Wait, doesn't Kronk speak squirrel? Yeah, Kronk, Kronk squeak, you're squeaking. Uh, I rolled a three. Squeaking, you're squeaking. Well, he's a squirrel scout. He does not acknowledge your squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Bishop, what would you like to do? He dropped your money on the table. Uh, Bishop will look up and see if there's any nuts in the tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, there are. Uh, is it possible that Bishop can throw like is there like a rock or something on the ground to like throw at the branch to knock all the acorns down? Uh. This thing's like multiple stories, like tall. Ooh. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> think about like a red oak or a redwood tree, but it's an oak. Like, is it it's possible to punch the tree and have it drop down? Oh, it's punch. Like, like a goosh, and then it just squeak, squeak. I don't think we should hurt that tree. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Uh, it, I oh, guess it is possible. That? Bishop will uh, look at uh, the squirrel and say, Do you, would you like those? It just squeaks at you and like raises up its hand and like He wants gold. Uh, we don't speak squeak. We'll pull out a bag of gold and like open it towards him. Um, Like you show what's inside the bag to him? Like, I'm offering him, like, the bag of gold. Like, take what you need out of it. Yeah, he like, he looks at the gold, but then he just, like, pushes that back. Mm. He wants you, and he, like, grabs your soul. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Bishop will stick out his hand. Your soul is mine. Speaks English common the whole time. (laughs) It's actually Shang Tsung. Soul. Um, Bishop will look at the scroll and say, uh, Bishop does not know what currency you are looking for. It's just like a high pitched squeak. Squeak. Yeah, Bishop will look around to Gideon and Tungar. He's trying to avoid looking at um, the massive squirrel person in front of him. <laughs> Still with a baby um, carriage on him. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps he takes, um, you know, uh, maybe we have a, a skill or a, a something we can do. Maybe a, a junky tune, perhaps. Bishop does not speak mm. this creature's language. Me neither. Oh man, I don't have comprehend language. Yeah, that'd be funny. If you guys like offered him the necklace, took it off me, he's like, no, and then you just put it right back on me, like, oh shoot. Well, that's <laughs> God. Um Yeah, Gideon is gonna try and hit him with the old song and dance routine. The okay. thing that he he does to make anybody like him. Um He uh he 
What cantrips do I have here? Uh, I'm gonna do... <laughs> I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion. I'm gonna get a little, um... Like, a, Almost like a firework. Like, illusion going on. And, um... You know, there's a little, little song and dance. Um, what, what is the song? The song is... Um... God. The devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull out a bow. <laughs> um, you play both parts. Uh, yeah, actually, I am, I'm just fiddling with my teeth viciously. <laughs> uh, it is a, it's a song that, that sounds something along the lines of, like, Cats in the Cradle. Like, it's like a folky kind of, like, song of the people, you know? Yeah. Exactly. It's something that's designed to like, you know, it's a song that's supposed to be catchy, tells a story, like a relatable story, like all that shit, you know. Okay, give me a uh, performance. I'll give you advantage since you're using the minor illusion. 18. Uh, so it thoroughly enjoys your song. That's in the cradle and the silver spoon. And it, like, little boy blue. Sorry. Go ahead. Man in the moon. <laughs> yeah, we're we going to get copyright so fast. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll be demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> Taking money out of your paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it just like starts picking up items and like lifting them to you. Wow, he really liked it. Um, is there anything that he tries to offer to me that looks particularly uh, interesting? So he's got like a cape. He's got a pair of boots. He's got a couple of potions. One's definitely a healing potion, you know, because you've seen a bunch of them. Um, but he's got two potions that you've never seen before. He's got the gun. He's got... <laughs> uh, he's got a bag. You know, it's in the bag, but he does have a bag. Ooh. Oh. Um, Gideon and his impeccable taste, I think, is going to, like, while he's doing this little jig, um, he's going to, like, kind of grab the cape from the squirrel <laughs> and, like, throw it on and, like, kind of a, I mean, in an entertaining fashion, you know, like a little, <laughs> a little pizzazz. Okay. Um, and then he's gonna keep singing it as long as the squirrel seems to like it. He's he's gonna just go on to the next song. He's got a whole set list he can do if he needs to. Yeah, he will exchange for the songs the cape. Yeah, hmm. sure. So he likes fine arts. <laughs> yeah. He's quite um, the inquisitor. Yeah, <laughs> a true patron. <laughs> So might even say he's high class. <laughs> um, gentleman. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Um does it look like uh when Gideon finishes this this his second song, um does it seem like he the squirrel is willing to exchange more things for more songs, or does it seem like he's kind of no. like, no, that's your thing? Yeah, he's like that's that you did it. Okay. Uh Gideon's gonna uh, stop that. I don't know, could, guys. Uh, he he liked the song and dance. Maybe you should try singing or dancing. Could I do um could I do minor illusion? But I hmm. wanna create like a stage and I wanna perform like a puppet show for him. I'm still a squirrel, go. by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> <For some. laughs> yeah, I, you sure can. Uh, it's going to be a straight roll for you because I'm giving you disadvantage for being a squirrel. That is so... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's racist. Okay. It's like what? the most appropriating thing you could possibly do. What am I rolling? Performance? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Just I'm not. I'm not very charismatic. Gosh, oh. that man. It's one of those like weird, like 
church like <laughs> puppet shows. Yeah, like <laughs> while well, stumbling like that. It's super awkward and only one person. How does All the same voice? Feel that? Very unimpressed. Stops watching after a couple seconds. Dang it! <laughs> It's okay. We'll get him next time. Like it's like the as as he walks back, uh, I like tried to console him like they do backstage at those like uh, like performance shows, you know, like uh, uh, American Idol and shit, where like someone had like a band performance like coming off like crying, and then Giddy just comes over and like gives him a hug and pats him on the back. He's like, "It's okay, it's okay." So you're Paula. <laughs> Good. Yeah. They don't even know your oh, true talent no. yet. We'll be back next year. You're gonna do the big things. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anybody else? I kinda of still to... trying to take the uh the shotgun away. <gasps> Criminal. Yeah, it'll like he'll grab it and like pull it back and then put his hand up. He shouldn't use it. Uh Bishop will give uh his piece. Like the front, or I guess that back end of his shotgun, the broken one, to try to be like, trade? Do you want this broken piece? Uh, give me a d20. Just straight d20. All right, let's see. High number, high number, decent number, decent number. So he will take it on the grounds that after the explosion, it's become very shiny. Nice. It's from all the gunpowder. And sweat and blood nice. from your teammates. No, oh, it's a crimson shine. <laughs> crimson shine? Anybody else? Bishop will walk away with the shotgun and start uh, uh, Is there anything that I can go into? Oh, sorry. No. I've had my turn going. Uh, that I might like. Uh, once again, there's a bag that's closed. There's the three potions. One's definitely a health potion. And then there's a pair of boots. Uh, I would like to wrap to the squirrel for the pair of boots. Oh. <laughs> I would like for you to wrap to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tungar wraps. All right. Um, <laughs> hey Gideon, throw throw down beat. <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello squirrel. You're quite the listener. Uh, hearing out our talents, and you're definitely not sinister. I'd like to make a trade. A deal's a deal. Hear me out today, and then out <laughs> we'll peel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, give me a performance with advantage. <laughs> it's great. I actually took like 10 minutes to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh Spitting bars. That was not off the dome. Definitely you, not off. You can dome. also take inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to get to my character sheet. Okay. You really you hit said, the um, meter there. What was it again? Uh, performance with advantage. You also have. Um, Inspiration. Inspiration. You're inspired. 16 fine. Oh, okay. Well, there's also a... Yeah, it's so like he, like, he, like, claps with his little, like, paws, and then he... You, like, go oh, to dude. pick up the boots, and he just continues to applaud as you take them. I'm like... This is I can, so... I can... I can... He's... I, can oh. <sighs> I, I, like, dap him up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, he he, grid he gritties over to you. Oh my <laughs> god. He's what are we doing to Goody? Goody. What are we doing to Goody? He's what are we doing? I can't do that. <laughs> With the accent. Goody. What are we doing? Um, all right, so I put on the boots. Does anything happen? Not currently. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave these boots on. These boots on. I do. I do the Gwitty away from the squirrel. That's a right foot creep. 
<laughs> Fuck me, walk away, baby. <laughs> All right, no, but last chance. I'm trying. I, I, I love this girl so much, but everyone <laughs> keeps on succeeding. And I'm the one who keeps on failing. Um, He's just a sad giant squirrel. <laughs> it, I'm so unfair. Does the squirrel like, feel so bad for him? Maybe the squirrel can feel bad for him. I think the squirrel is a little scared of the giant squirrel. Um. Okay, so in my inventory, I still have those magic cakes from way back. Oh, the, my. Orphans. the orphans? He doesn't know that, though. This guy Are they still good? The orphans. Are magic cakes still good? Um, however <laughs> long. They're yeah, I'm magical. Sure. I'm sure magic children cakes are fine. Okay, I have two of them. Can I trade it to him? Be like, yeah. squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah, so he runs up to them. And at first, it looks like he's extremely excited. And then he starts smelling them. And then he pushes the cakes back to you. Oh, my God. You try to okay. get a squirrel orphans. <laughs> he doesn't. He backs away slowly. He grins he backwards slowly. It. Squeak, squeak, squeak. You know what? <laughs> Guys, get get ready to run through the portal, man. I'm a, we're about to shoplift. Like <laughs> Bishop would not. I'm allow not gonna that. let you. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Bishop's greater good is not gonna let that happen. Bishop, go through the portal now. Bishop will head to the portal, friend. And then Bishop will start walking towards the portal. And he's just like looking at the shotgun in awe that he can see uh, a masterpiece created by a cult. Man. Okay. Um, also, if you hear alarms, do not come back through the portal, okay? Alarms? It's perfectly fine. Um, I mean, I'm I'm going to get a little hostile with the squirrel. Like, squeak, squeak, man. I've been trying so much to please you, but you ain't liking me. But you like everybody else. Squeak, squeaky. Can I please get something? <laughs> so everyone's oh left? Um, I, I don't know who left. Bishop's out. Bishop, Bishop peaced out. Walked through the portal. Oh, yeah. I, I gwiddied out, out the portal with uh with Joe. With your new uh, shoes. Don't forget oh, me. wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. As I leave the portal, can I take the necklace off Joe and throw it back into the portal as I leave? Uh, Sure. Oh, Give me a shirt. Yes. Oh, that's clever. Would it, would it be possible? Actually, for one of my other games, this has become important. Give me athletics roll. Oh. Athletics? So wait, which We're one? trying to make athletics. Or... Yeah, just athletics. We're trying to make it relevant? <laughs> We're trying to make athletics great again. Oh, wow. 23. <laughs> that's <Shigridian>. your <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, necklace comes right off. Throws into the... So as and he's then, exiting, like into back into the, the tunnel, the necklace is going into like Mister Squeak's shop's realm, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're coming awake. Wait, no, you're still. Well, asleep. I don't know what's happening. I'm still asleep. Cool. It lands but, on Gideon. But, <laughs> but I made sure. But I made sure. Bishop didn't see. Bishop that. did not see. Yeah, he went first. Man, Tukar got some <laughs> big brain tanking. He's I'm a saying? big dude. You gotta have a big brain. <laughs> Gravy, are you sticking around? Uh, Gravy is sticking around. Or Gideon is sticking around to uh, to watch how <laughs> what goes down here with Bob, Ultra Dash and the down, squirrel. Yeah. So Ultra Dash, you do see that necklace come through the like off of Joe's neck. Oh, squeak, squeak. Okay. <laughs> Sell it. Um. Trade it. I don't know, man. Should I trade it or should I rob this place? GTA style. Gideon, Gideon is off to the side, still pretending that it is like an American Idol spoof. <laughs> he's like, he is like, he's like, like he's reacting to a camera that isn't there. Like he's like doing like a double takes, <laughs> like looking over each other, like, God. <laughs> Dude, what the frick, man? Still in squirrel form. Can I go pick up the necklace? Mm -hmm. Okay, I won't pick it up, and then I'm not. I'm not gonna give it to the, Mr. Squeaks, but 
I'm I'm a you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get on one knee and propose Pause. to Mr. Squeaks with the necklace. If we're married, we gotta sh- we gotta share the store. Yeah, I'll, I'll propose him with the necklace. The necklace is the ring. <laughs> yeah, Wait, that's the ring. But what if you put the necklace on the squirrel? Would he get transported to the room? Just- you pass out. His brain, his brain. Just ascending. <laughs> it's like chloroform. <laughs> as long as you can get it around their head, they'll just Bill pass Cosby out. Would love that necklace. Anyways. <laughs> oh my That's god. The nickname for the necklace. The Cosby Slayer. <laughs> the Cosby oh. Special. <laughs> so you're seriously doing the proposal? Yes, squeak, squeak. Oh my god! Uh, Gideon, seeing his opportunity, is um, playing like a very light acoustic guitar, sounding music. Blute. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm not even going to give you a roll for that. He, the squirrel, does not like. <laughs> does not like what? Does he like my, my acoustic guitar music at least? <laughs> so far, Alter Dash and him have gotten off on the wrong foot. He's not going to accept a marriage proposal. Dang. Okay, I. I turned to Gideon. I gave him like the look, like get ready to run. Like <laughs> Gideon, Gideon uh, is already running. <laughs> okay, I get up off the my knee, and I'm gonna swing at Mister Sweet. <laughs> it's on sight. Okay, so you hit him. Um, Gideon, you make it through the portal, and so the squirrel. Video. Score hits the ground, gets back up, Our and starts guy. squeaking at you. This isn't gonna end well. Squeak, 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 squeak. It squeaks back at you, very angrily. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> I'm saying, if you don't give me nothing, you're gonna get another one. You don't speak the same language. <laughs> I know we don't, but I'm translating to you because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so he goes over to the oak tree and opens a little door up oh. and goes into the tree. So he takes out a gun. <laughs> Dude, he's going to pull a freaking shotgun out. <laughs> Shoot me. Pulls out an AK. Yeah, yeah, what'd you say, boy? <laughs> well, I mean, since he's in the tree, I guess I'll help myself real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, what's, what's left on the shelf? <laughs> uh, there's three potions. Um, and a bag. Put the potions Ooh. in the bag and do. You know what? Yeah, I won't. I won't take the potion in the bag, but I'm gonna leave like two gold just so, like, you know, I didn't rob them technically. Mm-hmm. You kind of did. You kind of did. <laughs> just because you didn't rob them blind doesn't mean you didn't rob them. <laughs> I partially robbed them, but but yeah, can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Bro, the squirrel mafia is gonna be after our entire group Dude, now. The squaff, the squeaks, the squaffia. You no, know I was gonna say the I'll squaffia. Leave, <laughs> I'll leave him five gold. I'm feeling just... squaffiosa. Okay. The squakuza. <laughs> um, I'm I'm running to that portal now. So you turn around to leave to the portal, and the I'll portal. See, gone. Let's go. He steps out with a Tommy gun. <laughs> oh, the squeaky gun. Oh God, unseen servant. The portal's gone. Da, da, da. Um, can I go over to his? Oh my God, he doesn't have an internet connection in there. The <laughs> That's what happens when the portal closes. Lagging. The squirrel <laughs> sabotaged his internet. <laughs> you were for a He's minute. gonna make this unbearable for everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he ruined my internet. Hey, what do you want to do? You're st- stuck in this like, um, no, demo, demi plane. Okay. Am I? You're you're fine. Good now. Yeah. I think you're good. Okay, I wasn't for a minute. I was. Okay. So portal's closed. Um, did I, did I knock on his door? Oh, I didn't know you were doing that. You go over and knock on his door. Oh, can I knock on his door? Yeah, you can. It's like you can't get through it. It's like hey, uh, 
Das war nicht das Weg. <lacht> hey, squeak, squeak. What you squeak? Are you, are you still a squirrel form? Yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey, uh, um. Yeah, I'm still. It's <laughs> the best possible time. <laughs> I'm right, like, in uh, just a second. Um, <laughs> everyone understood. That was the squirrel that. going in, into the house. Uh, I like how we all do the exact um, same thing. Can I, <laughs> can I knock on the door and be like, hey, the portal closed. Can you let me out, please? After you robbed so, him. It's like a little door about this big. I'm still here. I didn't. And you see a little slit in the little door open, and you hear some squeaks from behind the door. I don't, I don't understand you. Can I, can I get down to the level of the door and be like, I can't understand you. Like, yeah, he, I need to go home. He actually hasn't like stopped squeaking. He's very agitated. Understandable. I so. mean, I would, I would too. If a certain squirrel didn't like me, squeak, <laughs> squeak, squeak. Can I can I go to like the shelf and see if there's like a, maybe a switch or something that turns on the portal? Shelf? What shelf? <laughs> yeah. What or the shelf? like the you're counter where you're, playing. Count you're outside the tree right now. You're outside. Yeah, there's like two wood tables. You can go take a look at the two wood tables and the bench. Oh, did you? Did you think everything was on a shelf? Well, no, it was like on a. On, I imagine on the table, right? Like a counter. Yeah. It's more yeah, like. Can I go look over there? And... Can I see if there's like a switch or something over there? Yes, yes. there's not. Oh my god! I'm about to just throw everything. Yeah, but, yeah what are you? I think um, you have to apologize. I mean, to dang good. I guess I. I guess I'm the new Mister. Squeaks, guys. I, I left the crew. I'm not part. Of, I'm not the part of the green cloaks anymore. I'm I'm the new Mister Squeaks. <laughs> That's traumatic. You gotta, have, you gotta cast a spell on you every day on yourself. <laughs> yeah. He's Mr. Squeaks I am right Squeaks now. now. Um, <laughs> goes to the real Mister Squeaks here. I guess. Put the lotion on. Put the lotion <laughs> in the basket. Put the lotion in the basket. Or the squirrel puts the lotion in the basket or it gets the acorn again. <laughs> I'm going to um, knock on Mr. Squeak's door again. The little slit opens again. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> squeak. You just stare at him. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what he's, he's just like. Good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is madness. This Leave him alone. Shuts. No. Okay. Just trying to grab unseen servant now. Uh. Uh. What do you want to do, Nova? <laughs> Come on. So he's my... trapped. Dude, my internet is like suffering because the squirrel's chewing on my router or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Real um... life squirrels are getting their revenge right now for the disrespect. How dare he disrespect their lord and savior, Mr. Squeaks. Okay. Before I was cutting off, he opened the slit. He was squeaking and he closed it. Yeah, because you didn't say anything. So he shut the slit again. How big am I compared to the door? You're like 5'11". This thing's like like legitimately this big. I mean, it's squirrel size. Um, I'm sure you fit. going to... <laughs> I'm going to kick the door down. Okay. Can do okay. Yeah, you can try. I need to... I need to get out of here. He didn't tell you how thick it was. He didn't tell you the other dimension. 
Yeah. <laughs> What's the thickness of the door? Bless you. You didn't see it when you Thank came you. over. You're too busy robbing him. <laughs> Became a bad guy when you were left unattended. The one time I'm unconscious. This okay. Uh, is an evil squirrel guy. First off, this was supposed to be the most magical. I was so excited <laughs> to meet Mister Squeak. Now this become the worst event ever, and I hate this. Oh my god. <laughs> You've created your own prison. <laughs> you are so your worst yeah. enemy. I, I had to trap everybody else with a necklace. It turns out for <laughs> Ultra Dash, he does it himself. <laughs> Just give him a squirrel some goods and he'll trap himself. Ultra Dash, Ultra Dash is going to get the necklace put on him. And he's just going to be like, I'm not listening to you. I don't even believe you. <laughs> he's going to try and fist fight the, the, the demon woman. Into hey, what do you want to do? What do I want to kick down the door? Uh, I want to kick down the door. Kick it. I'm about to. What <gasps> there? Uh, if only you were oh at my advantage. Gosh, just... You know, if you kicked the door, it hurt your foot. Didn't budge at all. The weakest work I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> And Can I the door. punch the door? Is that, is that <laughs> door? You just uh, apologize. <laughs> it's not happening. Not with him. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> yeah, you uh, want to try to like get down and like swing at it? I'm I'm trying not to shatter this whole realm to, <laughs> to smithereens, but um, yeah. Can I try to just punch it? Hmm. <sighs> Okay. I just did a little song and dance. That doesn't work for us. I got a 12. Is, is a 12 feet a small squirrel door? No. I mean, it'd be thick. It'd be a thick door. With two Made C's. out of pure maple. So you hit it. This time around, it gives you way less resistance. I need a deck save. Ooh. I'm about to die. <laughs> So there's a mouse trap in there. It's actually Groot. The tree was Groot this whole time. <laughs> Wasn't happy that you killed his rocket yeah, squirrel. Okay, so you're gonna take half this. Half what? Of what? Dude, this is like some Tom and Jerry shit right here. <laughs> so you take half of twenty three. So the door swings open as you hit it, and a fireball comes shooting out of the door. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> So he takes like what, 12? 11? 11. Yeah, do it. Oh. Round it up or down? Down. It's 11. Always round down. 11. Okay. And you okay. can see he's casting another spell. Oh my gosh, the squirrel knows magic. That's terrifying. Saw that coming. Um. <laughs> I let it hit me. Mm. <laughs> Can let it know Let's it's still see. here. What about we put the stuff on the ground in front of him? Because if he throws a fireball, he loses his property. Scammer gets scammed. I'm just gonna put all the stuff that I took right in front of him. And be like, yo, yo, it's a prank. <laughs> prank, bro. <laughs> Just a prank. He like squeaks at you. Okay. He like puts his hand out angrily. Shake the hand. Um, is it like this or no, like he... this, like a handshake? No, it's like this and he's also pretty far away from you like he's deep into this little house oh he about to suck you with him like freaking the, the clown from it bro pennywise um does he want me to if you step inside this breaking and he's going to shoot you that's true and he's probably in texas too so I mean. does he want me to push the item as well. you know? give me an intelligence check <laughs> An int roll. Yeah, he's waiting for me to enter enter his house so he has the right to shoot me. That's exactly what he's doing. Please come in. Pop. Yeah. 
Uh, intelligence like this? Oh, man. You don't know Dude, what Dude, I'm getting such bad rolls. Oh, you, my God. You do know he has started to cast a spell. <laughs> I can see that, obviously. <laughs> Maybe he's opening the portal. Squeak, 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 squeak. Um, but a different portal. Pulls his pants down. Different place. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So it's like, it's like, <laughs> let's see. It's a portal. Um. Ooh, we will be a female drop the 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 necklace. Here you go. You want this too? This piece of crap. He like he goes squeak 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 squeak, and then he like snaps his finger, and you can hear the boom as the portal opens back up. Oh. He likes the necklace. He likes Can I steal it. all this and start running again? <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> I'll never learn my lesson. This guy. So okay. This time. Could I actually give him money? Okay. For an eye. So how do you go about cool this time? Uh, uh, Tell me how you go about this. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a hundred gold right in front of his door. Okay, so as you do I'm that point to the bag. As you do that, you lose consciousness. <laughs> Rolled. So everybody else Rolled outside. Best, girl. Everybody's outside Let's the go. The portal disappears. It goes, Vroom. and then like Holy five shit. minutes go by, and then the portal boom back back open. Um, a altar dash looking squirrel gets thrown out of the portal, and a bag of money behind him, and then the portal shuts again. Tungar takes the money. <laughs> I don't know Alter, our your squirrel. <laughs> uh, Gideon slaps Alter Dash. <laughs> How does it feel compared to do slapping I, do I wait, uh Well, actually, you hit him. <laughs> Roll me a D four because it's possible <laughs> that you oh, transform him. Sorry. Right. Please Hold leave on. him as a squirrel. Leave him as a squirrel, man. Forgot you can't just uh, click on it. Like uh, what's it called? Everything else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Good. So you hit the score for one damage, <laughs> which is not enough to make it come back to normal. Uh, so. How does it feel compared to hitting Joe? Is it more mulchy or less mulchy? <laughs> less. It's more like swatting. Like, have you ever like hit a, like, like slapped a tennis ball or something? Oh, jeez. Yeah. You've never yeah. done that? You've never like hit a tennis ball or like a ping pong ball or something with your hand? And smacked a well, ping I'm just pong imagining ball. that to slapping Joe. Like, that's quite a difference. Oh, yeah. He's a squirrel. <laughs> well, I, like I, you would think the fur and like the big cheeks would be a cushion. I mean, it also depends on where he's slapping, but. Uh... Just doesn't have a lot of mass. True. Do I, uh, do I take one Gideon is far him? less satisfied mm -hmm. than he No, was. it's on your squirrel form, which will. Go away in an hour. Uh, oh, Gideon on, then on the slaps okay. Joe just so he can remember what a good slap feels like. <laughs> Joe, you wake up to a slap. <laughs> Wait, do I wake up before or after he slaps me? <clears throat> no, after you wake up to wham! Oh my gosh! And there's it an works. ultra dash size squirrel. Oh my, what the shit? It's all right, Joe. Guys. Guys, oh, you just got beat up by a real thing. squirrel. Guys, this <laughs> is, what is that? What is that? It's canonical now. It's Otter Dash. What dude. do you mean? That's a that's that's a big squirrel. Yeah, he's magic, dude. What? Why are you shocked? <laughs> why, hey, why do I feel like I got slapped in the Dash, face the like a million squirrel. times? What the crap? <laughs> he did. It's really. It's honestly really satisfying. What do you mean? I'd satisfying. recommend just laugh at you. Yeah, like it feels physically good. Why were you slapping me? So I was trying to wake you up. 
are you talking about? I just went to sleep. Mm. Yeah, so apparently this happened to me too, where they uh, you go to sleep and then you wake up like a day and a half later, two days later, three days later, it's and been three uh, days. nobody tells you. Uh, no, not three days. It's <sighs> been a day and a half, right? Long rest and a half. It's been like uh, a full day. It's been like yeah, from last. Year's also, day. I don't remember anything from the. No, cool. Just checking. Oh gosh, what the hell? Okay. You've been asleep twenty four hours. Wait, where's the necklace? No one has the necklace on, right? I still have a. Uh, I still have a bet to win. Oh, we no. should not uh, have it. Does no. uh, Gideon looks no. to see if Atradash has it on, and that's why he's un unconscious. <laughs> no, he does not have the necklace. I on. am. So Am I unconscious? No, I thought you or... gave it to the squirrel. Oh, conscious. I mean, I You're don't know that. You just don't get to make decisions. He did give it to the squirrel, and the squirrel didn't give it back. You have the you have the intelligence okay. of so a I'm squirrel. Just... <laughs> That's probably why the whole thing went away. <gasps> fireball. Can I cast a fireball? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have access to spells. Here, squirrel. You have like five That's intelligence. Does cast fireball? I... It's a special. It's Mr. Squeaks, dude. You can't oh, compare yourself man. to Mr. Squeaks. Yeah, that squirrel. That squirrel beat your ass. Yeah. All right. I'm not feeling super confident about your magic. Yeah. No, I want him to be my master now. If anything. Oz. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, hey, what, what? Where are we? Sensei. What? What's Sensei up with this Squeak. bell? What? What's this bell thing? And no, the bell's about to The bell's got keep walking. Oh, that was sick. Like, when y'all came back out through the portable, the sign in the bell is gone. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I'll apologize. All right. Well, well, we're still down this well, long. Before, before you woke up, we came from this way. So I think we need to go the keep going this other way. Yeah. That, that supposed to make sense. Yeah, but now you can actually uh, push yourself. So, yeah. Have fun. I, I always push myself. What do you mean? Not while you were. Not emotionally. I like when he when I hear that I just like put my head down depression and just slowly just start to trek on. It's like <laughs> why you gotta hit me where it hurts. <laughs> I gotta remind you where you put you in your place, you know, <laughs> where you belong in the corner yeah. crying. All right, okay. well, I'm moving, continuing down the path. Walking. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Oh so my God, head, Chris head, Pratt! <laughs> as you head down the uh, tunnel, y'all take another long rest. Oh um, yeah, baby, give me my spells an, back. <laughs> about an hour or so into the next day, Ultra Dash. By the way, you're back to being Ultra Dash. Yeah. About an hour or two into the journey after your long rest. There's a very bright, warm light coming from the other end of the tunnel. Mm. Looks like maybe you're getting into an opening of some sort. I see this, lifts my spirits, and I begin to wheel myself faster towards this bright entrance. So you can hear, like, as you get closer to the exit, the cave starts to open up a little bit. Uh, you can hear it with, like, some type of bubbling um, Bishop, you can see that there's like lava up there that's bubbling. Okay. And yeah, we open up into a big cave. And I think that's a good point to stop. Holy shit. Damn. That... Brother, you got your ass beat by a squirrel. <laughs> that was a struggle to watch for a while. Like, what the frick, dude? <laughs> oh. I was entertained by it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get stuck on that for an hour. But <laughs> yeah, we were we were on that for a fat minute. Holy crap! Just... I thought we would start clearing this next cave, but <laughs> now with the green cleansing. cloaks, that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed the character development between Nova and himself. <laughs> He's actually a really evil guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, we had a very like interesting window into what who he is by himself. <laughs> This is exactly why squirrels. you do not let him by himself or with squirrels. Yeah, just found Watch out that he's squirrel racist. Confirmed. <laughs> he's racist to squirrels. Very racist to squirrels. 
Did you call him? Yeah, dude, you're the equivalent of like squirrel you... blackface. <laughs> it's probably why he was squeaking you so much too. Ruined my experience with squirrels. I I was so happy to to see like a like you know like a little furry creature or whatever or I don't know. Squirrels it was are magical. It's like going to Disneyland and then I know squirrels are people too. That's why I got punched in the face <laughs> with the fireball. Well, thank you, everybody. I I, I want to now oh, find here, here. Mr. Sleeks. Oh, that's all. We just created a lifelong rivalry. <laughs> this uh, is a new side a quest for me. This is a side quest fighting Mr. Squeaks. Please, please bring him back. I would like a rematch. <laughs> I see your ass beat again. <laughs> I'll bring the popcorn. <laughs> all right. Now. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode and the stream, the video, whatever, wherever you're watching, or if you're listening on like Spotify and Apple, thank you guys so much. And, uh, you know, hopefully next episode will be a little bit more productive and not try to fight squirrels and stuff. I mean, there's really no guarantee. Disclaimer that will definitely not happen. I'm positive. We've been doing this for like 10 weeks now. It never is productive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we, we don't we don't do anything. So yeah, let's see what we do next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow wherever you're at, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Squeak squeak. Bye.